Hey guys, uh, it's, well, me of course. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it a few times uh, over the past few months, but uh, I went to a convention recently. I went to a convention called Contagion Outbreak. Uh, it was a pop culture expo in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, um, let me tell you a little bit of what I did first, then I'll tell you what I got there. Um, I... May I add, like, this was my first, like, proper big convention before I just went to small cons at a hotel that were selling stuff. I enjoyed myself with those, but I was, when I walked through that door, after being told at seven different ticket booths that, oh, it's the next booth over. That annoyed me. Okay, fine, I'm exaggerating, but seriously, like, three booths. Just kept saying, next one over. Shut up. And <laughs> so I went out through, man, I was, my heart sunk. I'm just like, just whole, because I got in through where the comic boot, where the, a lot of the booths were selling comics were, and I was just like, my God, man, that's insane. Um, but I was uh, instantly, I wanted to get a little walk around. I uh, found a lot of sales booths. There was a lot of people there. Um, there were uh, a lot of different kinds of booths. There was, a, there were a lot of Firefly booths there, actually, um, and that's because. Uh, some of the celebrity guests they had was uh, people like Jewel State, Kaylee from Firefly, um, and she... The lines to meet people weren't big. Like, here's who they had. They had her, they had uh, the guy who apparently voices Bumblebee in the Transformers movies. Apparently. Um, they had a few other people. They had someone from Tron, and they had um, Admiral Mahdi, uh, the guy who got choked out by Vader in Empire Strikes Back. Yes, that was how big our celebrities were. And then a bunch of extras from The Walking Dead. What fame, folks. And, um, no, 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 no. They were all nice. I wanted to get an autograph from uh, Jewel State, but uh, they were charging 30 bucks. All the celebrities were, all the people who were in movies, they were all charging 30 bucks for an autograph. And I just, I could not stop, I could not, you know, say yes to that. That just sounded really ridiculous to me. Um, also, Steve Bloom, the voice actor, you may know him as Wolverine or... Orochimaru from Naruto, or who else? Um, a lot of other voice roles you could probably figure out for. Um, he was supposed to be there, but the convention kicked him out apparently a few days before it started, which pissed me off. And a lot of my friends who are girls, who are anime fans. However, they would have all owed me $30. Good, good. All the good goes there. Um, so... I met a I met a couple comic creators or a few comic creators. I actually got a couple autographs from those. So uh, that's basically my experience. Like I went to all the booths, I talked to a lot of fun people. Um, had a really weird run in with because uh, sadly a furry chapter. And, uh, the the state has a furry chapter. You know furries guys in the suits who creep me out. And this girl who was. How do I describe this? She had purple hair, ears, and hooves. She had like these fake hoof shoes and followed me around the convention for about five minutes. Um, I didn't look at her. I, I, I spotted her once and then noticed, um, I kept hearing that. And I was able to find a reflective surface and saw her and was afraid for my life. Um, I don't know why she was following me. Maybe I was that intoxicating. Who knows? Um, I mean, who wouldn't? Uh, sadly, furries. Uh, that's the kind of women I attract. God damn it. And uh, that was creepy. Um, that was the weirdest part of it. Uh, but I soldiered on. Now let me show you what I got from the conventions. Uh, Here's what I, um, I got a couple of lantern rings, um, white and yellow. These are the only two they had. And may I add, I felt like a jackass for paying a uh, buck fifty for these each because uh, on our way home, we stopped at a comic shop that, uh, well, was selling them for 50 cents. <laughs> that was, well, selling the white one for 50 cents. I felt like an idiot kind of there. And then I got this uh, really sweet green lantern t-shirt. Uh, and, um, it, yes, it's blue. They didn't have, they had the same kind of shirt in green, but they didn't have it in my size. 
Um, and what did I, what else did I buy? I bought, actually, I've decided to finally break out of my weird stigma against the companies that aren't the big two and bought Dark Horse. I bought all of the Serenity comics. Um, there was a guy selling them there for 30% off. Every comic seller was selling um, Serenity because, uh, my voice changed there. Uh, um, because Jewel State was there, everyone had Serenity stuff to sell. Like uh, That's why there were so many, um, uh, you know, Firefly conventions. There was actually a group of people selling a Firefly fan film, um, which, of course, I did not buy because I did not want to pay $18. Um, I'm sorry, fan films or something, I, unless they look really, really good, which I've only seen two that look really, really good. They're not worth paying a lot of money for, or money at all, no offense. So yeah, I'm really excited to read these. I've been wanting to read these, and I'm really wanting to read something that was not connected to DC or Marvel at all. And uh, Dark Horse was something easy. I really wanted to get into Dark Horse, and they broke me to read Hellboy. And also they gave me this reprint of Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, and another thing I got, um, actually no, I'll, I'll skip the autograph stuff until I show sure what else I got. I got an Ultimate Human for half off. I've been told it's a really good series. I really want to read it. And I also got this for more than half off. I got this for like 12 bucks. I got volume one of Brightest Day. Uh, you might hear my Skype in the background. Um, um, I really wanted to get into the series. So, well, I've read it in issues and I wanted to get in, in trade, but odds are, knowing how cheap I am, I was going to wait until softcover where it was going to be 20 bucks. So uh, now I just don't have to. Now I'll have to find volume two and three for cheap when when three comes out and volume two. So that's all the stuff I bought. Um, I let me get to the autograph stuff. Um, this is a free comic book day GI Joe issue I got two years back. Um, Larry Hama was there, and since I knew he was there, I figured get him to sign it. And of course, the comic book people were free. And. Uh, couldn't resist. I couldn't, you know, pass up chance to get something signed by a famous writer who worked most of his life on G.I. Joe for a while. And also an artist called Jeremy Hahn was there. Uh, he worked on... He's mostly an up-and-comer. Uh, he's only worked on a few things I've known on, of, know of. He's worked on Arkham Reborn, and he worked on this, um, Red Hood, The Lost Days. Um, quit contacting me, Skype people. Um, he worked on most of this, and the cool thing about it is, because I had to pay the full 15, but he signed it, and then he was selling prints for 10, and he got me this epic Batman print, and uh, he also signed it. So yeah, that was my time at the convention. I had a hell of a time. I can't wait for next year. Um, I'm also going to be putting up a, pic a video of all the pictures I took. I didn't take a lot, but I took as many as I... Uh, could and wanted to. So, um, yeah, that's how much fun I had. I'm hoping they have one next year. I hope the celebrity guests are, well, there will be more of them and they won't be so go goddamn expensive. Don't ask what happened to me there. And, um, I had fun. Uh, thank you for the five people who are probably watching this. Peace.